We are now back at the Pattaya Mail Office and we have the great honor to welcome the U.S. Ambassador to Thailand, Her Excellency Christy Kenny. Thank welcome. you, Sue. I'm very happy to be here with you. Yes. It's a great pleasure warm. to be in Pattaya and in your studio. Yes. I should say a very warm welcome because of the weather. It is warm, <laughs> but it's also very nice. The welcome here has been equally warm. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you. So we just had a plant tour at the fort this morning and it seems to be another success story from one of the, the, the big American companies in Thailand. Um, tell us a little bit about the future of, of these companies in Thailand, the American ones. Especially. You're right, Sue. It's been a really good couple of years for American companies. American companies have been here for a long time, mm. but we saw this morning a brand new investment from Ford Motor Company. General Motors is building a new car here. Dow Chemical, also here in Rayong, has more coming online and of course there are American hotels right here in Pattaya. I think American business is very happy and growing here. Mm -hmm. And it's still, the future looks good. The I future guess. looks exceptionally yeah. good. Mm -hmm. You know, Thailand has good infrastructure, quality workforce, and is very friendly and receptive to mm -hmm. American products, American mm -hmm. industry. Mm -hmm. But you know, also Thailand's a good hub. Mm -hmm. And as ASEAN community grows, mm -hmm. I think American business see Thailand as a very good place to position themselves. Mm -hmm. Now, coming back to you, Your Excellency, it's been over two years since you took office as the U.S. Ambassador to Thailand. Now, tell us what has been your most or your achieved target or, or achieved... Well, well, you know, I think what I've wanted to do here mm -hmm. is to keep building on the friendship ties between Thailand and America. And not to just say, oh, we've been friends for years mm -hmm. and we'll always be friends, mm -hmm. but to really think about how to build friendship for the future you know, economically, culturally, across every area. So I've done a lot of traveling around Thailand, talking to students, talking to small businesses, seeing American companies, talking to our Peace Corps volunteers, mm -hmm. you know, looking for ways that we can keep a really strong friendship even stronger. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of programs that I particularly like. Uh, one is our creative partnership where we work with Thai and American entrepreneurs to connect them together. We, for example, had the U.S. Cotton Council provide U.S. cotton, high quality cotton, mm -hmm. to Thai designers. Oh, you know, okay. a great partnership. Benefits everyone and that's really where I'm working now is to mm -hmm. find the new opportunities mm -hmm. to take this friendship you know, into the next 180 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting to bring the, the cotton in and do the Thai art on it. Maybe. Exactly, yeah? because of course what, you know, Thai designers mm -hmm. are so creative. Yes. And the U.S. high quality cotton is tremendous. Yeah. So it's a great partnership, you know, of a fashion, mm -hmm. U.S. fabric, mm -hmm. you know, or we might look at U.S. animators. The Thai film industry is growing. U.S. animators, U.S. technology mm -hmm. here to help out. We've been working on some links there. You know, of course we want more Thai students to study in the United States. We have a lot of Americans who come here. So I view it as my job to just grow that friendship in ways that will matter to the next generation. Right, especially culturally. Well, culturally is also important. Mm -hmm. Although you mentioned American products are well right. known here. American movies, mm -hmm. American music. But there's a strong appreciation of Thai culture in the U.S. too. So I think that these are all good things to build on. Mm -hmm. So when you came here two years ago, what was your priority and, and what is it now? Uh, you know, my priority remains the same. Mm -hmm. When I came here, I came with the idea that we have a good friendship, a very mm -hmm. historic friendship, but we needed to make it relevant for today and tomorrow and the next two generations. 
and that's still my priority mm -hmm. across everything really whether it's cultural or economic or security relationship mm -hmm. making sure our military and law enforcement have good ties with Thailand that they're connected together mm -hmm. that they use modern technology too mm -hmm. what has been your major challenges working in Thailand you know I think the hardest for me very honestly has been the language mm -hmm. I'm studying well, I, Thai, right? But it's a difficult language. Mm. It's very beautiful, but I, I find today, even I was listening to some of the Thai, and I can't understand mm. as much as I'd like. Yeah, I was just going to ask, like you know, you wanted to learn Thai, so I was just going to test you. Put Thai right? Yes. Did you learn Thai? Yes. Did you I heard you at Ford. You were brilliant. Well, thank you. I enjoy it. It's yeah. a beautiful language, mm. but it's still a challenge mm. for me to be as good as I'd like to be mm -hmm. and be able to talk to as many people in Thai as I'd like. Okay, so that's one of the challenges. And a continuing challenge. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'll keep working on it. <laughs> All right. And uh, you also won many uh, awards on leadership programs well, in your you. life. And, yes, and, and I have. What are these? Different ones, uh, you know, I've worked hard, I think as have you. You know, being a leader is very important in any business, in anything you do, how you inspire the people who work for you, how you motivate them, treating people well and giving them opportunity. So I've won a number of different ones precisely for that, for giving others opportunity, helping build a really strong mm -hmm. group of people. And we're very busy on that at our embassy. Mm -hmm. We just had a, a legendary Harvard professor come talk to our whole staff about leadership. Okay. You know, everyone can be a leader, as everyone, you know, yeah. and should be. Yes. So uh, do you find that it's more challenging as a woman to, to be recognized being a leader? You know, I don't think so, no. honestly. Mm -hmm. I, think, I really think in today's world, we all have the same chances. And it, you know, it's just really a question of working hard or harder than anyone else of trying your best and of never stopping to learn. But I think in today's world, look at you and I. We're two women sitting here talking. <laughs> Hard to say women don't have chances. My boss, Hillary Clinton, is a woman. That's true. The Prime Minister of Thailand is a woman. That's true. I, you know, pretty hard to say women don't have good opportunity. Exactly. So since you touched the Prime Minister of Thailand, now she's the first woman Prime Minister mm -hmm. of Thailand. She's very pretty. She's very attractive. We are proud of that. Do you think she's got what, what it takes? You know, she's got a challenging job. Mm. I think she's obviously very, very good in terms of being organized. Uh, she's a, a quick study. Mm. We've met with her several times. She impressed President Obama. You know, again, she works hard. She, mm. If she's going to meet with the President of the United States, she pays a lot of attention. What mm. are the issues? Mm. You know, asks us, works with her staff. So I think those are really good qualifications. Mm. Uh, what do you think about the Thai politics right now? I think Thai politics are like politics in many countries. Mm. Diverse, lively, noisy, mm. you know, it's sometimes difficult. What I think I would hope, I think a political discussion or dispute is perfectly normal and mm. healthy mm. as long as it's nonviolent. Yeah. And, you know, I think as long as people are talking about their views in Parliament or over coffee or on the beach in Patia, I think that's just fine. Right. Um, so talking about the politics in Thailand, uh, we know that the South is always troubled, mm -hmm. the troubled South and all that. And I read somewhere that, you know, when Philippines had similar problems, the United States offered help and they took it. Mm -hmm. But in Thailand, it seemed that they don't want help. No, the, the Thai outside. have been very clear that mm -hmm. they consider this a problem for Thailand to mm -hmm. solve. We respect that. Mm -hmm. We do, as an embassy, do some work in the South. We work with some universities there, with students, you know, helping people get access to education. Mm -hmm. But we do completely respect this is Thailand. Mm -hmm. Thailand has every right to decide how they want to solve that problem. But um, do you think they have reasons for that? Because the same with the flooding last year, and the British Prime Minister, not Prime Minister, the British Ambassador just came out and gave an interview that showing his little bit of a disappointment that Thailand did not want the, the help yeah, from the yeah. U.S., Canada, U.K. But, but you know, actually, Thailand did want help from the United States. Mm. And we but not monetary. Actually, we, they had very specific things that they wanted okay. and needed, mm. and they asked us for, and we delivered. We gave about $10 million mm. in flood relief and recovery. Mm. And they were very specific. They wanted some things for victims. 
uh, mosquito nets mm. you know, for the shelters and we delivered that. They asked us for some help in pumping water. We delivered that. They've asked us for some help in restoring cultural sites at Ayutthaya. So I, I can't speak for my colleagues mm. from other countries, but the Thai were very clear with us, the mm. Thai government, and I talked many times to many of the ministers mm. what help they needed from us, and mm. we happily and willingly gave that. As you may know, we had the U.S. military in yes. assisting as well. Yes. So I felt like military, we were able to assist the police. Yes. They asked us for assistance. Mm. So I, I felt like we did a lot of assistance, and it was specifically what the government of Thailand asked us right, for. Right, right. Where do you think... I think we've had a constitution now for 75 years mm -hmm. uh, in Thailand. Uh, where do you think we stand right now in terms of democracy? Well, you know, I think you have a lively democracy. Mm -hmm. You had a very free and fair election last year. People voted as they wished mm -hmm. and produced, you know, an elected government that was then formed. And, you know, I think that this is a democracy that has a lot of views and mm -hmm. a lot of opinions. But it also has the institutions to deal with. Mm. It's not always easy. I think it's Winston mm. Churchill who talked about democracy being messy, <laughs> but still beats anything else. Right. And I read somewhere that it takes at least 150 years for people to really understand democracy. Well, and I think it's always hard in every yeah. country to understand mm. what does democracy mean, yeah. and you know where are your rights, and where is the rights of your country. Right. But I, you know, I find Thai very interested in their government, very interested in voting and participating, and those are such important mm -hmm. features. Mm -hmm. So speaking of rights, um, do you get um, issues on human rights on your table, and what do you do about them? We do. Yeah. Uh, everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. I, I think in every country in the world we can all do better and should do better on human rights. You know, we've raised here concerns about the rights of migrant workers who are, sometimes we get some very strong reports they're not well treated. Mm -hmm. You know, some concerns about Southern Thailand, reports of human rights issues, you know, we take those seriously. Mm -hmm. And we put out an annual human rights report every year. We talk about those issues. We talk very openly to the Thai about them as well, mm -hmm. that these are issues that concern us. But are there any actions? Uh, sometimes there are. I mean, I, I've actually found we've done a lot of training mm -hmm. uh, courses with law enforcement, with the military. From the U.S. perspective, every time we do a training course, we put a human rights component into it, and we found people very receptive to that. Okay. So I think you know, it's like everywhere in the world. This is a hard issue, and it's the hardest issue. It is the hardest issue, mm -hmm. and, it, and it's something we all work on. Mm -hmm. I think every single day, mm -hmm. and we all learn from each other. Right, human rights, women's rights, children's so rights, women's rights. All of that, uh, yeah. You know, rights of people who are trafficked, mm -hmm. rights of migrant workers. You know, rights of refugees. Mm -hmm. These are issues across the globe. Yes. Okay, coming back closer to us, let's come back to Pattaya. You sure. don't have a consulate here. We don't. We don't. So, uh, I mean, how much connected are you with the American citizens here? I think we feel very connected. <laughs> but as you know, we come here several times, usually three to four times a year. Mm. You're, you're not so far away. We feel like it's pretty easy mm. to come to and from Pattaya. There's a large community of Americans here, as we yes. know permanent residents and certainly a lot of visitors as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll be here I think again in early June, mm -hmm. just about three weeks from now. Mm -hmm. So they are notified, do they know? They that absolutely, they're, they're notified, but we, do, we've done a couple other things, mm -hmm. Sue as well. We have a brand new Twitter account mm -hmm. just for American citizens, ACSBKK, okay. American Citizen Services Bangkok. I'll put that up on screen. Please do, <laughs> because we already have 3,000 followers mm -hmm. and they put out information all the time information if you're an American on how to vote, mm -hmm. information on our services we offer. They just put something out today that they'll be in Koh Samui next week mm -hmm. for American Citizen Services. So we do that and you know we also have some Americans here who we call wardens but mm -hmm. who help us look after American citizens, your volunteers. Mm -hmm. And they've done a great job. So there are a lot of activities anyway going there on. There are a lot of activities, mm -hmm. as you know, there are a lot of Americans here, mm -hmm. and we're very connected with them. We right. hear from them. Right. But this Twitter account has been tremendous because people can tweet us a question and our American citizen experts will answer. You right. don't have to come to Bangkok. Right. Uh, but a moment ago when we were talking about these uh, Facebook and, mm -hmm. and Twittering and all that, not everybody does that. That's true. Like I'm, I'm for one. I'm not a Facebook person, <laughs> so there are a lot of people who would rather 
you know, have a, a hold of a paper. Well, they, and that's why we come here several yeah, times a year. Mm -hmm. We're trying to reach everybody mm -hmm. and do it in ways that make it as convenient as yes. possible. So mm -hmm. we come here minimum of three times a year, usually four. Mm -hmm. And we're down here for other times. I'm down here today. We'll be back down here when we have the ships coming in in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to do online, too. There are a lot of people who like online. That's true. That's so true. make it as easy as we can. Yes. And maybe the last question. Uh, I got a question from uh, from the viewers that uh, they said that is it possible for Americans to own one rye of land because they're getting conflicting information? And I don't know you the don't answer. Know, right? Yeah, we can find that's a tie regulation. Yes. But we'll try to find that out for you. Yeah. I don't know the answer, but I'll ask some of our experts to ask the ties. Okay. Now. Yes. About you. You're very active. You're very creative. How do you keep so fit to face your challenges every day? Well, first of all, I love what I do, and that's mm. always the secret. I, I feel just privileged to be here, to represent my country, to live in Thailand. Mm. But I'm also, you know, I exercise. I normally eat well. Sometimes I do stop by McDonald's, as you know. <laughs> you just did. <laughs> I just did. But, you know, I enjoy a generally healthy lifestyle, mm. and I think that helps a lot. Mm -hmm. See, there you go, a healthy lifestyle, everybody. <laughs> lifestyle, and love what you do. Yes, and love what you do, that's very important. Would you like to add anything to the viewers? Well, I'd love, if I can, to tell your viewers a mm. couple things coming yes, up. Please. Because obviously we have some U.S. ships coming into town for some of our big exercises coming up. And in July, we have the 50th anniversary of the U.S. Peace Corps in Thailand. Mm. And there are Peace Corps volunteers I know in this province, and there are former Peace Corps volunteers, so stay tuned, we'll have lots of activities to celebrate 50 years of Peace Corps volunteers in Thailand. Awesome. More than 5,000 volunteers in yes. this time. Yes, and we make sure that all this information going to Pakistan. And we'll make sure you get all of that, because we want to particularly reach out to some of the volunteers now live here, and we want to have a great opportunity to see You do have a lot of retired people that would like to help in any way they can here. Well, and if you hear from them, let us know, because we absolutely love to hear from Americans who want to be part, whether it's of some of the volunteer work we do, whether it's helping out American companies with their volunteer work, we love that. Okay. So we'll put the contact out for you. Fantastic. What you can do and to send in your uh, request and, and if anyone needs to tweet me, you can tweet me too. Yes, we put that on too. <laughs> Happy to hear from anyone. Thank you. Thank you, so Sue. It's much. great to see you, and Thank I hope so to see much. much more of you. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> great to be here in Patia. Thank you. Thank you. Sue. Good question.